Hey guys, Feeling Amir here. Today I have my grocery haul. This is going to be my big grocery haul for the month of July um, because my mother-in-law came and took me out and I apologize for the crappy camera but unfortunately my other one uh, takes four batteries and it is dead. As dead as can be. So, gonna make do. The totals obviously were at the front of this video because I don't have them uh, handy. They're over by my computer. So, this first batch is from my local Asian market. I love this place because it is just so ridiculously cheap. Um, I bought my favorite brand of rice. This is Nishiki rice. I wanted to get a big 50 pound bag but unfortunately my husband is working today and couldn't come with us so I could only carry a 15 pound bag of rice. I got some pork bellies here. These are still frozen. Um, pretty meaty actually for pork belly. Um, I'm going to make my husband just some basically uncured bacon. It's something that he really likes and it's pretty freaking cheap. So this is my treat today. This is a red bean cake. It's basically mochi surrounding red bean. Four things of onion and a little piece of ginger there because I'm going to make kimchi with not only my radishes I have from my garden, but um, I bought a little bit of cabbage. This was on sale. Yes, I typically don't make kimchi out of this, but you know what? Sometimes you just do what you can afford financially, and this stuff is really fresh. And then I got eight bell peppers for about six dollars. Pretty good deal. So that is my Asian market. Now let me show you Costco. So here is my Costco haul. This is mainly um, just re- stocking of the meat and things like that. I got a thing of organic ground beef here. This is I believe four pounds. The price has gone up unfortunately. It's now $5.50 a pound and it's almost to the point where I'm just going to start buying from my local farmer um, when I get a little bit more money. And I bought some of this Gouda cheese. I normally buy mine from Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. It's not going to focus but it is um, $4.69 a pound compared to $4.99 and $5.99 so we're going to see how that um, tastes. And I got my Kerrygold butter. Um, unfortunately again it went up in price so maybe next time. I wanted to try the Kirkland brand of organic butter but I don't know I just I, I kind of think I've tried it before and didn't like it as much but maybe next time. And I got a big thing of vinegar. Um, as you guys know I make my own cleaning supplies and I use this in my laundry and my dishwasher. So. Um, kind of supplementing our produce because we had some thieves steal some of our lettuce which I'm really annoyed about but um, a thing of lettuce the organic lettuce unfortunately was really gross looking so I bought that you know it's not best but whatever then we got nine dozen of eggs here then I got a thing of tomato paste they were out of the organic tomato paste in the little cans. The main reason I needed to go to Costco, other than the fact that I did end up returning a bunch of stuff, I bought a bunch of glass Tupperware that unfortunately did not work out and I might do a review, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I bought, I believe this is about 33 pounds, 32 pounds of organic chicken here. This is the Coleman's organic. Um, this is 11.4, this is 10.18, and 10.68, so about 32 pounds of organic chicken, and it's 2.49 a pound. And I bought some red onion. The sweet onions I normally buy, they look like they were a little older, so I bought these ones. And then the thing of baking soda, again, I use this to make the um, solution I put in the dishwasher for the dishes, so yep that was Costco now I'm gonna show you my combination of Whole Foods and Trader Joe's because I didn't get a lot of it and here is my Whole Foods and Trader Joe's haul I only got three things at Whole Foods um, I mainly went there because again I bought some stuff I tried some of their dressings and I did not like them so I ended up returning them um, I did however purchase another half gallon of my favorite milk this is the Kelowna Supernatural Organic 2% milk and they were having their Yukon Gold organic potatoes on sale, so I got some of them. And I got some of this um, pork sausage just to put in the freezer for when I want to make biscuits and gravy again. Um, I don't know, in a few weeks. But again, I don't go to Whole Foods all too often. But yeah. And then here is my Trader Joe's. Again, I went to Trader Joe's because I had some stuff to return and I, I just keep forgetting to return this stuff. So I ended up returning so much they actually paid me $2 and I think 15 cents to uh, take all this. Well, they didn't really pay me. I just got my money back, but you know what I mean. So 
I got a box of their brand of basically frosted mini wheats. I've never had it before, we'll see. And then their Joe O's, which is basically Cheerios. A box of these Madras lentils. They're really good just to keep in the pantry if you need a quick meal because you know you're busy or whatever. I got three bananas and some of their brand of ketchup. And then I got a bag of penne pasta and a bag of linguine. And finally, some of their pineapple tidbits, which I love. And if you guys are curious what each of the individual prices are, you can follow the link down in the description to my website where I have it all listed out for you. Subscribe if you want to, and hopefully I will have more videos coming soon. As you notice, I am done organizing my kitchen area, so I really, really hope I will be getting back into doing cooking videos probably pretty soon. And thank you guys for being so understanding. And if you have any requests, make sure you leave them in the comments down below. Thanks. Bye-bye.